Among the older cities of the United States is quaint New Orleans, where the Cathedral of St. Louis majestically rises above the Place d'Armes in the center of the city, reminding us of the days when the flag of France waved over New Orleans, the Queen City of Louisiana. Two other famous landmarks in the Place d'Armes are the statue of General Jackson, hero of the War of 1812, and this old Spanish shrine known as the Cabildo, where Louisiana was transferred from Spain to France, and later from France to the United States. It is now a museum housing historic mementos of old New Orleans. Pirate's Alley takes us back to the days when Spanish and French Romeos wooed their ladies fair and romantic old world music resounded from behind shuttered windows. Modern traffic has in no way interfered with business at the old French market, a world famous institution which has thrived under the dominion of the old and the new world and is still doing business at the original stand, established about 130 years ago. If an observer were called upon to mention a truly characteristic feature of this quaint city, he could not help but refer to these iron trellised balconies, many of which were imported from France and Spain, reminding us again of old world influence. city in the new world or the old can excel New Orleans for its famous restaurants, one of the best known of which is Antoine's, founded almost a hundred years ago and still maintaining the reputation of its excellent cuisine. Standing on the site of the residence of a former governor of the French colony is the court of the two sisters where the color and romance of old New Orleans mingles with the spirit of modern times. Another famous landmark in the long list of New Orleans' many fine eating places is that of Broussard's, which specializes in concoctions of appetizing foods served in a novel and entertaining manner. Eating and drinking rank as fine arts in old New Orleans, and the flavor of the past is kept vitally alive in its restaurants. A dessert resembling crepe Suzette is one of the popular dishes for which this restaurant is famous. And here is another palatable dish known as Broussard Surprise. Showmanship seems to be an essential part of serving food in this unique restaurant, where even Mephistopheles is featured in the very auspicious routine of serving Café Brulot, a black coffee cooked with cognac and flavored with orange peel and spices. The presiding guest in this old French setting is none other than Napoleon Bonaparte himself, and every time French brandy is served, the event is celebrated as we see it here. And this serving of good food and drink, which is the policy of all the New Orleans restaurants, is just an old French custom. 
City Park is another famous landmark which dramatically associates itself with the colorful days of French and Spanish rule. It was here that fencing was a popular sport and affairs of honor were settled by pistol or sword in the shade of these old trees, better known as the dueling oaks. Perhaps the most famous duelist of that time was Jose Yuya, who is said to have maintained a cemetery for the benefit of the many victims who fell at the point of his sword. St. Louis Cemetery is one of the oldest in New Orleans, having been established over two centuries ago. In this historic city of the dead are the mortal remains of those who helped to found New Orleans. They are interred above ground because in former days the city was too near the level of the sea and modern drainage was then unthought of. Many of these tombs consist of two vaults with a crypt below in which the bones are kept. After a period of time prescribed by law, the tombs may be opened, the coffins broken and burned, and the remains deposited in the crypts. By this method, a single tomb may serve the same family for generations. Almost two centuries ago, these picturesque old trees were planted by the early French settlers, and today they are referred to as the Versailles Oaks. This unique pilot house, situated near the shores of the Mississippi, was built by an old retired pilot who could not end his days too far from his beloved river and the paddle wheel steamers that still ply their way slowly but steadily up and down the Mississippi. spell of the romantic past that we most reluctantly say farewell to old New Orleans. Yeah.